Reading War Room, also known as The Citadel, University of Reading, White Knights. Reading War Room, completed in 1953, was the regional base for Home Defence Region 6 during the early Cold War and it was designed to protect the functions of regional government from the atomic bomb and to coordinate defence. It is designated as a Grade 2 listed building for the following reasons. A remarkably intact 1950s war room, which has experienced very little in the way of alteration since built. A building which also expresses through its monumental and robust form the threat posed by the atomic bomb. By 1951, the construction of buildings to protect the functions of government against the atomic bomb had been agreed. One war room was to be built in one of the ten home defence regions into which England was divided. The exception to this was the London region, which was provided with four war rooms making up the total of 13. All except one in Newcastle-upon-Tyne were purpose-built structures. The Defence Region had their origins in the Second World War when plans were made for the eventuality that central government was disrupted or destroyed. Each had a regional commissioner who would govern and organise his region and its defence until such time as things returned to normal. The new war rooms were located in the same cities as their wartime predecessors but were usually built on government estates so they could sit alongside the offices of other ministries. The war room designs were in progress by October 1951 and the last one to be completed was Birmingham in 1956. Each had a reinforced concrete structure with extremely thick external walls 1.45 metres and a roof thickness of 1.5 metres and further reinforced concrete internal partition walls as well as its own generators, air filtration system and water supply. The function of the war rooms was to gather information in the event of an attack and to coordinate rescue and welfare facilities in support of the regional government. There were three different designs of war room, single storey surface buildings, two storey surface buildings and two storey semi sunken buildings such as at Reading. Each war room had a central map room, control rooms, offices, communications rooms as well as ablutions, dormitories and a canteen. The buildings provided protection for staff with approximately 50 people included, including the commissioner, police, military liaison officers, telephonists, telex operators and secretaries, hospital and fire service liaison staff and a scientific officer. Reading War Room was completed in 1953. It was located on the wartime government estate of White Knights and some of the prefabricated buildings from this still survive in its vicinity. It was the War Room for Defence Region 6 which broadly covered Dorset, Hampshire and the Isle of Wight, Berkshire, Oxfordshire and Buckinghamshire. Reading and other similar War Rooms were replaced in the early 1960s by regional seats of government which were better equipped to cope with a hydrogen bomb. The detonation of a Soviet H-bomb took place in 1963, which was the catalyst for this change in strategy. Reading War Room thus became the communication centre for Warren Row regional seats of government near Henley-on-Thames, Oxon. Recently this bunker has been used by the University of Reading for document storage and for plant sciences. secret vault somewhere in beep again right so no you're not been, no what the fuck is this what's this what's this it's the secret vault custom custom black sprayed ladder for stealthy nighttime nighttime operations <laughs> And ain't nobody got one bigger than me, so 
Here we go. How's my mocker done? It's got little clips. Now you don't want to go that side, you want to go this side. You reckon? Yeah. It works. Work. Yeah. 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 It looks pretty easy, but yeah. We're not in the light there. It's just getting up though, isn't it? That lip comes out way too far, man. You see, is there no lip that side? No, there is, but it's... We could put it on the, we could put it on the light or something, can we? It's not, it's not torn up. Just no, it's there. not. Look, maybe there. You've got the reason up. Hang on then. We have to close my car then. Well, we'll hear if anyone walks on and pulls over me. What on earth is this? The exhaust then, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it raised? Yeah, if you put the bottom step inside one of them little grooves, would that not have enough? Might do. Yeah. Ooh, actually, it just looks... Oh, not quite. Not quite. So it's dry down there, Yeah, that's what I thought. <coughs> what if we put it up against here like this? Be careful, huh? I wouldn't even risk it, mate. No. <clears throat> You're going to struggle to get over that lip, man. Yeah, it should be right. Sort of. <laughs> nah, that ladder's going to have to go against the lip if we're going to get over there. Getting, stop getting lippy with me. I know you and your lips. Fucking. <laughs> right, what are we going to do then? Any ideas? Is it, if you, you could definitely. Get it on either side of that then. <clears throat> if you can, yeah. That's a bit risky, but maybe get it on either side of this one then. That could fall so easy, man. Yeah, it could. Whoa. I'll just put it on this one, man, because the, the, that's fairly solid, isn't it? Let it go down the lip. Yeah. You alright? Oh dear. That's probably a bit better, isn't it? Yeah, it's Mmm. Could be just mouldy excrement from a human dead body. Right then. Who's gonna die first then? I don't mind. I just need to do my shoelace up, so I'm just going to hold on to that for a sec. Alright, two secs. I'm going to give the f***ing light in. Sort of die, but... As long as there's only a little bit... There's always the afterlife, mate. Just be positive. Yeah, I mean, it's sturdy as I can, bro. Right. Let's catch the footage of diggers. Quality bit of quality bit of climbing, mate. Right, don't worry about the ladder. Just worry about yourself. I've got the ladder. You could just go straight up now, mate. You got it totally. And he's up. He's up. Like that, yeah? Yeah. 
Oh, here goes Mr. Matty. Let's catch Mr. Matty going up. So I just put my light on then. Oops, a bit of something happened then, but he's up as well. So that's two for two. Goody good. Right. right, I don't think I'm in focus. It's in focus now. Right, I'm gonna have to hand my camera to somebody. Oh, you're holding it here, cut tidy. It's theirs, is it? There's a fucking door in the side. Yeah. I know there's a door, but it doesn't go anywhere. Well, I haven't opened it yet. That's right, mate. Thank you very much. Now, for safety, I reckon we should get these back up here. No, because we ain't going to put it back down. You're going to place them in that gap yeah, you again. Will. You won't, because that's literally in the groove. Oh, yeah. But on, on the certain angle as well. Just leave it then. Right, OK. We're leaving the ladder there. Look. Look at this. Where are we? Down, down, down. Mm -hmm. Where the f are we? This is the one with the ladder in. Looks like people have been in here, look, because they've graffitied in here. I'm not about getting down from there. Okay. So we've got an air duct here. We've got filters. And we get filters. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Ooh. Well, it goes down in steps, so shall we go and have a look? Steps? Well, it goes down in stepped layers, I mean, yeah, sorry. So there might be some spiders in here. Here I be, going in for a look. And somebody left us a ladder here, look. Oops, there's a ladder in here. It's pretty mad. You want to go down and... Or are you going to wait for me to have a look? Oi. What? Well, the ladder's not going down for sure, but we might be able to drop down. I don't know, because we're, we're halfway to the top level, aren't we? So. Oh, that goes up. That goes right up to the top. And then, wheeze. Oh my god. It goes all the way to the bottom. Yeah, that is, you're right, because we saw it, didn't we? Into the boiler? Yeah. So it goes all the way to the lower floor, which is underground. So, whoever brought this ladder was being adventurous, I think, and thinking it was a good idea. How far down is it? Oh. All the way to the basement, so from the top floor and another floor. From the roof of the top floor. So twice what the outside is. Twice what the outside is, yeah. So you need, like, two evil telescopic. Yeah, we'd need two telescopics because we're, yeah, exactly. And that ain't gonna happen. Yeah. The, only other, the only other thing I can think is if we get uh, Mr. Tim. Yeah. Mr. Tim can repel. Straight off of that metal bar. Well, yeah, we know somebody who can repel, so yeah. He can be able to be there straight down in, and we can use this to put the windshield on. He might be able to open the doors from the other side, depending on what type of... I don't of... think so. I think they're locked from the outside. Yeah, you might have a, a ratchet though on the inside that you can turn. Come on, Matt. You can do it. I'll just turn his light down. I'll just turn his light off. Whoa. Uh, I don't know. So we're still hoping and praying that we can find something that's in one of these, but I think they're all going to be up in the air. Oh look, Matty's got a hole here, look. Matty's found a hole. And they, they're all going to drop down, there's one's going to be in and one's going to be out here. And they're all going to drop to the lowest floor. In and out, yeah? That one don't go down as far. And the thing is as well, I don't think this I, I didn't see a stairs to an upper one in the others, did you? No. So I don't think this is for that. 
it's uh, right out. Fuck knows. That's just that's. It's probably not welded. It's probably just. It's probably fucking old. So it's not looking good, is it? These war rooms are not going to give it up easily. So. What's that? So, uh, oh, there's a flashing, flashing light over here. Could just be on a car, like a security vehicle or something. I think it's on the side of a building. It's just a fluorescent light. It's a fluorescent light that's um, defective. So, so we're on top of this fucking bunker now, doing it, doing a cheeky look, doing a cheeky number. What is around this side then? So, with that said then folks, I think um, we ain't getting in this one, not just yet. Mm. Might come back again and see if anybody's come in, but not today. So I was very doubtful we were ever going to get into this bunker. And then, one year later, a Reading-based urbex had contacted us and told us they had keys loaned to them from somebody in the university to unlock the main door. So, job done. Okay, doke. Well, we're here at Reading University, which is a place we've been before, <laughs> and uh, recognise this building. So tried to get in here last time, and the uh, bloody thing was closed. So. <laughs> so let's. So, Hurry up. so luckily we got somebody who's kindly invited us in for a look. Very nice of him. Last door. Last door. So, oh, spider web. Welcome spider webs. Right, why is my why is my thing going nuts? There we go. So here we go. Wow. So straight away we got the doors. Yeah, what should we do about the door? Uh, I don't know, lock it probably. Yeah. All <laughs> oh, right. So this, this one hasn't really been touched. Yeah, they have got uh, batteries and the generator looks like it's been maintained. Apparently, it still works on the roof, They say. Right. Well, it looks like it's ready to try and start. Actually, have you tried it? I haven't tried it. I tried it with the power on, but the power doesn't seem to go on. Well, it's only got one terminal and one battery, so that would that would explain. Yeah, apparently, a submarine battery or something like that. From what I was told. Well, that's the same as what they used yeah. in the RNC posts later on. Yeah, these ones. Well, there's a bit of corrosion on some of these, so they may be a bit knackered as crystallisation, so they may yeah. be not kept charged. But um, these are often where they put the um, emergency That'd lighting. So, yeah. So, is this connected at all, do you think? I don't think the power is. Exhaust air temperature, engine air temperature, but that's stuck at 250, so some of these needles are stuck. 
So the lower level is, is flooded, can't go in? Yes, you can go down this, there's, there's a little bit of flood. You explain. Yeah. It's like enough to step through the boots, pretty much. Right. But it's like moderately subtle sunrise, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it releases um, hydrogen sulfide gas. What, if you step in it? Yeah. <laughs> Good. So we're gonna we're gonna die then basically. Do it as the last thing before we go. <laughs> Don't do it now. Do it upon leaving. So this this it would have been the uh, lights thing for over there. So this is what would charge the batteries and keep the batteries going. Does anyone have any clue what these are? They look like radiators. It looks like some sort of radiator element or heater element. So these are heater elements or radiator elements for heating units. Mm. So electric units. So we've got the air air blower system running off one of two. Uh, motors and it looks like there's a spare so if you if that one knackers up you just drop the drop the stuff onto that one and it'll run off that one instead so you've got two as a backup you can keep it running without uh, losing losing too much right mm. now this would have been probably where it went out to the to the to this roof, which is where we were trying to get in before. But if we dropped down here, we would have narrowed down, and you'd have to have got in through this, which didn't look like it would be much of an option. And smashing through something like that is, wasn't something I really wanted to do. So, you know, definitely don't want to like That's smash stuff up. Some maps there. Oh yeah. That's the electric yeah. If you want to take photo, high-res photos of those, if they've got any pins or markings on them of where bases are, because they often do. Yeah, that was like the Bristol War Rooms is filled with pins. Mm. There's a better one downstairs there is a map, with all the regions split up. Yeah. yeah. Well, these markings on your SMSM, SS, TQ and all that are to do with Ordnance Survey. That's what the Ordnance Survey squares are. So they're Ordnance Survey markings. So they've got, a, they've got SN, then they'll have three digits, then three digits, and those tell you the, the narrow... So like, there we are, so like one, two, three, four, five, so it'll be like 456, which would be about there, you know, so four, five, six would be there, and then the second number would be up the side, so it'll be like, so you'll have SN, 456, uh, 521, so you'll go like that, that'll be it, so it'll be, that's the coordinates, so that's how they used to work the um, ordnance survey markings. So we've got a secondary uh, air blower system there. Secondary. Mm. Sweepers. Oil tank. Yeah. That's new. Yeah. That is new, yeah. I wonder what's new for storage, I think, or something like that, by the looks of it. Yeah, I wonder what. Um... 2000, University of Reading. Yeah. HVAC. That bit on the roof, you can actually see that. If you go out of this room, mm. you go right, there's like a little um, red door. Right. If you open the red door, you can see down the vents. That shows you like, the drop from the top of the building. Mm -hmm. Cool. So what's all this then? AF International. Better air is our business. These are the filters, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Air filters. Ready to go. Nuclear air filters. Oh. And there's a barrel of oil. The union lasted in 2006. Mm. And again, two, sp like a spare redundant motor. And, uh, you know, so you could jump those off there onto that one and still keep going, you know, if the motor died. But they've got dual sets of fans here. So they've got fan there and they've got fans over there. Yeah. So we've got parts and spares. Parts and spares, which uh, you don't often get. So, uh, is this the door to the outside, or does it go to the, um, does it go to a, uh, <sighs> blast door? Uh, you can't, because you're going to have to put a, something through it to get it open. If you can find, find something to stick in there, maybe, to open it up. 
No, that's too big. That's too big. Ah, so. So you reset after fire alarm. Start, stop. Gas. So, info board. And uh, ventilation. Ventilation, so. Yeah. So yeah, this uh, this engine. Then let's have a quick look at this. So yeah, you can see all the way down. Let me just see if we can get in here and have a quick look. filters. It's got two air filters there, two fuel filters there. The exhaust comes up, goes above us. So here we go. Not very easy to get round there so I might give that a miss. Fairly secure, but I'm not. I'm not very uh, confident about if somebody's taking the valve tops off. They've been playing with the valve valve clearances, and they haven't done it right. I'm trying to start it if the valve clearances are wrong on these rockers. Do some damage. Oh, it's back on now. Maybe it was just somebody. Maybe it's somebody done done it to have a little look. But, uh, yeah. so. Automatic regulator panel. But so where do we go from here then? It's got a telephone here. Yeah? Bet you doesn't. Oh, th there's a dial tone. No way. Yeah, listen. It's a dial tone on the phone. No way. It's a dial tone. I wonder if I dial my mobile. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> no, it won't allow you to dial out, out going. Mind you, it's got the internal telephone directory here. So, yeah, they certain phones are not allowed to make um, outgoing calls, probably. Transfer, hold, group, pick up. Yeah. So you can you can ring all these other universities direct. Mm, departmental listing. It's got everyone's telephone numbers in there. Great. <laughs> so what's down here then? So this is sinks, sink units. And it says these pot covers, air tubes, trays, and this section are not to be used. Wow! Look at all this in here. So they've got all sorts of stuff st stashed in here. Door, doorways, panels, panel doorways. I wonder what these are for then. It's weird. It's look, look, bio, biomimetics, biomimetics. So, just all brush, brush stuff. Mm -hmm. An old bike. Do you mean the village bike? For now, for now. Whoa! Oh my God! They've got stuff here that looks like it's out of a. An animal testing lab. It's okay. like, like put your hands in sort of um, yeah. testing equipment. Oh, look at the spider webs in here, man. Oh yeah. 
evil. Proper evil. But look at that. You see, put your hands in. Put your hands in the rubber things. Oh yeah. Can you see my hand in there? Oh, yeah. So I wonder what's in, in these little cupboards then. I can't get this, can't get past the bloody bike. It's a nice bike, yeah, it does look like that. No, it's toilets. So these are all just toilets. Yeah, ladies' bike, Jess. It's lovely. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Here's one of those uh, boilers, which they have in a lot in these in these sorts of places. Boilers. Oof. Right. So, so let's go and have a look down here. All right, culture room and growth room. Wow. So this is where it starts opening out a, a lot more. This is the vents we saw from the, the engine room side. So, room 14, full of boxes. Wow, full of documentation and boxes. Wow, and look at all those checks and stuff like that. No way. The Publishers Association, £115.90, £29.11, £1,296. So these are all like, you know, Big checks. Wow, okay. God knows. So there's some uh, there's some interesting vent vent things up here to kind of you know control the airflow for the vents. So um, coming into another room, there's a water container above the stairs, which is like we had in Bristol. Very similar. Oh look, long corridors. Long corridors. This is the back exit then. So this is the door into the plant room. This is the door that we we were wondering where that was. So here yeah, we've got a back blast door. And that door's locked. So this will be the toilets again then. Let's have a look. Potting compost. Looks like somebody might have had a grow room in here at some point. So look, loads and loads of potting oh, compost. Yeah. I think somebody had a grow room going in here. This is a photographic developer. Photographic developer, darkroom stuff, old uh, yeah Polaroid cassettes on that as well. Oh, Polaroid land camera. Yeah. So. Wow. So look at all the compost and stuff in here. Yeah. So. Yeah, there's a urinal used to be in here, but it's been removed. So the urinal used to be there. So yeah, and the evidence of the. The water container up above. So we had more stalls here, but they've gone. So there should be three stalls, three proper toilets, and three water containers up the top. So they've all gone. They've been removed. So yeah, the toilets are always close to the door on the way in. I noticed that in the other in the other place, but uh, yeah. glass door. Yeah, and that's obviously going to the other back door, which is. Oh, it's full of spider webs, but yeah. So that's that's the other door on the back which we couldn't get in. I wonder if this opens now, because we couldn't get in here before. No, it's just like it's just spinning. It's weird. Hmm. Perhaps the lock is mangled. So there are local state warning. Bikini black. Bikini is uh, the security state, so you have bikini black, bikini alpha. Um, you know, it's, it, bikini black is a normal state, requires vigilance. But like you'd have bikini, bikini black alpha, and you know, there's all sorts of different ones. So have them in government buildings as well. So just warning of potential terrorist threat. So we've got the stairs downstairs. Now we've been told this is flooded so I'm going to check upstairs first biological hazard wow so what have they been doing in this place then or is this just a giggle mm. so they've had plants in here look and here we are look plants uh, yeah. yeah and and lights and lights oh, definitely growing in there oh, yeah. so were 100%. they growing cannabis in here or were they growing something for the university 
Mm, Makes you wonder, doesn't it? Makes you wonder if it was being done for the university or not. Any evidence of the, the plant types that were in there? No, it just says V2R3, 1811. Mm. So, could it be cannabis, I wonder? And they had their own uh, air, air heating system or air filtration system in here. Mm. No entry without permission. Look, Ministries of Agriculture, Fisheries and Food, Plant Health Division, Nobel House, 17th Smith Square, London, SW1P3HX. Um, they were growing food, weren't they? They were growing something in here. No entry without permission. But they were testing something for Ministries of Fisheries, Agriculture and Food. Mm. So, as long as it wasn't mutant... Um, Mutant triffids, we're all right. <laughs> yeah. Guys, like coming out and attacking us. Whoa, this is a big old room. Look Whoa. at the bloody stuff stored in here. This is massive, 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 massive. Are those old books. Yeah, ma'am. So, hmm. God, these are like uh, what? What are these? Verdelungen. Das Duschgen Bestange Stages. German? Yeah. Analagen 170, 1973. Was it? Uh, oh, Verdelungen Des Duschen. It's all German. Daybook. Yeah. So, Reading University Library. Have a look at these ones, Matt. These big ones. Which ones? These ones. God. Daybook. A book Q. Hmm, it's put a bit of uh, fungus growing on them. Yeah. What do you think's in them then? Let's have a little look then, see what we can see. Harry Potter! <laughs> it's um, accounts. Oh, right. Um, Southeast. Parchment, Papworth Hospital, Group Administrative Office. What's the date on this though? 1969. Wow. 1969. Howards Limited. So it's old accounts really, but it's handwritten accounts prior to the days of computer and signed off. Signed off by their. Uh... So it could be accounts to do with the university. Wow. So. Oh yeah. Phew. It's dirty iron, isn't it? Hmm. Look at these old, uh, old bits and pieces, old index cards. Well, actually, they're photographs. Mm. I think so, yeah. Oh, these yeah, are negatives. Here, these are negatives, man. They're glass. Wow. Glass negatives. Wow. It's a ship. It's the design of a ship. Yeah, this one's like a big... Can you um, put your light light through that look, and I'll show people. Like it's a it's a design of a ship on glass negatives. It's almost like as if oh look, and it's on board a ship possibly. That's a prison building. Oops. These are people negatives. But I mean, wow. So put them back where we found them. I'll put them back in exactly the same place. So be a bugger to find things if they're misfiled, so I'll put them back where we found them. But uh, yeah, it's like they're old, old sort of archives in here. So it's just like lots and lots of rooms of stuff. So this must have just been a place that they would um, spill out, spill out stuff. Now look at this, this is a printing press. Look, this is printing press. Oh wow, look at that. What's it? Nature has no tune. Nature has no tune. And this would be for printing. It's an old printing block, Christmas N contents. But that's a printing block. That's pretty cool, isn't it? That's yeah, that's metal, metal oh. etching. So that's been etched out with metal. And there's, look, there's other things here as well. Printing. So, printing press. God knows why all this stuff's stored down here. Because it didn't have any intrinsic value, I don't know. But So there's more cupboards, more, 
more space, more stuff. So, God alive. There's some maps on the walls up there, look. These look like old war planning maps. <laughs> some funny smell in here. Smell of old paper. Wow. So look, there's old, old prints of uh, some sort of machinery. A printing press machinery. <sighs> oh, look at this. L Les Ans, Les Eponges oh, yes. et La Salle. Two donkeys. Two donkeys. Les Ans, Les Asposelles et La Salle. Designed by Barbara Young. So this is somebody's old art project or something has ended up down here. Hmm. Common group film strip. Common ground film strip. There's an old uh, thing of IBM up there. Look, IBM, IBM, IBM. So we've got a cafeteria room or something, or this looks like something you'd put yeah, muslin gauze. You might put insects inside there. Insects, maybe to handle them and pick them up. So this could be some sort of like insect checking thing. We've got some weird stuff in this one. Yeah, really random different stuff. Mm. I think that's the way we came in. Yeah, that's the way we came in. We're coming down now. So we've got empty storeroom here. Nothing in this one. Mm. So it's obviously been designed for Storage. We've been in the two to the left, so at this one at the end now we haven't been in. So we've got single phase distribution chart. Office. University of Reading distribution board reference. Whoa, scientific equipment in here, oh, wow. such as uh, distilling columns for distilling or cracking. Uh, there's an old pioneer personal computer, MSX, over there. Old personal computer and video cartridges to go with it, video AST. There's lots of um, glassware here. Whoa, looks like old computer equipment in there. So. Incident transmitted. Incident and transmitted. It's like some sort of. Some sort of colour copying system, well, not a photographic copying system, but why did you say incident and transmitted? Hmm, weird. This looks like a chemistry lab. Yeah. And it is literally a proper chemistry lab. It's got all the bits and pieces here. This looks like something they would have probably done a copy of. So this is some sort of, like, um, some sort of X-ray or some sort of equipment thing. It says Cavendish Laboratory. So, look at this. You've got pipes going into things with pins. How weird is that? And then you've got, um, wow. Floppy disks. Apple Computer Limited. It's a small hard drive. That's an old Apple, uh, Apple, five and a quarter inch disk drive, Apple. Hey, I used to have one of these printers, Epson Stylus Color 400. I used to literally have one of those. <laughs> Little buggers were jamming up and you having to put new cartridges in them all the time. <laughs> yeah. Hence why it's found it. What's that down there underneath? Uh, oh. Um, System 3 data detection frame sizer detector. Rectangular frame. I don't know. Uh, frame detector, sizer options, frame sizer detector. It's It's got the same logo as that thing over there, AM. Mm -hmm. So it might be something to do with the, um, 
that that device up there that you put something on it and this thing detects detects something or it might be a copier system but that then this here sizing framing detector rectangular frame it might be to crop the edges it might be that you you take pictures maybe it's a digital scanner or something wow. and that works with this incident transmitted so you know there's apple apple connectors and stuff i don't know whether it's like an old old school scanning system it's got lights in the bottom of it yeah. it's got lights but I, w I think there was a camera or something used to be up here probably this looks like some sort of oh this is weighing scales look it's got two very very um you know it's a, it's a very uh small weighing scales mm. you know so you can sort of weigh two on two items you know sort of like chemicals on one side and weights on the other so there's a weighing scales and what have we got in here then Come on, what's this thing? This looks like it's got bits of rope and that's a tensioner. It's got a tensioner and spins. I don't know, maybe it's a, to test the tension in something, maybe. We've got lots of glass tubes here. Capillary, no, just, just glass tubes. I don't think they, oh no, they are capillary tubes. They've got little holes in the middle of them, so they're capillary tubes. Um, and big glass tubes, a lot of glassware in here. We've got chemicals over here. Anything na nasty? Right. Oh, acetic glacial acid. We seem to be finding a lot of that in, <laughs> in places. That yeah. stuff's really bad. Formic acid, acetic acid. If you mix some of these together, you can get some pretty nasty, kill you in a few minutes um, gases. Oh, yeah, there's a load in here as well. Yeah, so don't go playing with those bottles, whatever you do. Look at this, methanol, methanol, acetone. Mm -hmm. God, there's, there's enough here to, to probably kill us if we mix some of these together. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> yeah, so not to be played with. And glacial acetic acid is so strong it'll uh, burn down to the bone very quickly. So you don't want to mess with stuff like that. It's crazy, it's just left it, isn't it? Yeah. And it is in a cupboard called Toxic, so... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and it does say toxic hazard, and they don't, they're not messing about either. Really, is a toxic hazard. So this is down another corridor then. It's a completely new area. So what's this thing? Kitchen or toilets? That's well, another science lab, by the looks. Yeah. It's classic science lab. Yeah. It's laid out like you'd get in a university or a science lab. So here we are looking, we've got um, drawers, all empty. 25, 20, 20 millimeter clips, slide, slide sizes probably. Oh, yeah, these look like slide sizes they're putting in there. So, telephone, plugged into a telephone socket. Should we see if it's working? Yeah. No, that one doesn't do anything. No, so not all the phones are working in here. So Ah, bit of a kitchen. You know what they say though, you never ever eat in a in a science lab. <laughs> yeah. And uh something to keep your food warm, belling. But was this was this actually for food or was this a clean up area for the labs? It looks like clean up, there's got eye bath there. Yeah, as well. no, this is a clean up area. It wasn't intended to be used for food because you don't want to mix um, chemicals and food. It's a big no no. So, yeah, beakers, flasks, polyethylene bags. Mm. So, this is just a storage cupboard. Looks like a kitchen, but not quite. So, uh, yeah. Oh, and there's an interesting device on the wall here. Yes. Nobel. Um, proportional controller by Nobel. Centigrade. So it's, a, um, it's either for the room, to keep the room at a certain temperature, or it's, uh, it's to keep some sort of device warm. So we've still got the standard air 
things, but they've got deflectors on them, so they don't blow directly into the room. See the deflectors? So if they had the things, they, they don't want it blowing straight into the room or to actually shut them off altogether. You see they've got these, um, these things, I don't know if you can, you know, to be able to push it so they, they don't want the air coming, they don't want the air coming directly out, they want to be able to angle it. So yeah, it's a bit worried about contamination of the, the samples and the work they're doing with the it's possibly dirty air system in here. So let's have a look. So we've got a couple of fire extinguishers with the tag still on them. So they, this place has not been subject to abuse because if it had been abused, they wouldn't have um, good quality air conditioning in here. So, right, what's in these bags then? It's just cardboard, and there's another temperature temperature thing over there. So there's one temperature, two temperature. This whole room is a temperature controlled room, and all these are probably special areas where you'd have plants or various things. There's lights on a timer circuit there, where, where Sam is to the top left of him is a timer circuit, and it's connected to these light bulbs, which are probably UV light. And there's more there, timed lights on and off. So it's a temperature controlled room Skin bag. for growing <laughs> uh, for growing stuff. And here's some here's some plants here but I don't know what type of plants. Yeah there's a dead rat on the floor so yeah but it's definitely a temperature controlled room. Yeah. But these don't look like UV lights. They might be but they they might be daylight but with, with extra UV in them. There might be more white than anything else but uh, okay so that's the way back so we've been down there we've been all the way down there haven't we yeah, yeah we've been all the way down there so all right oh we haven't been in here so this is just light bulbs loads of light bulbs stacked oh there's cobwebs in here cobwebs nothing really apart from Events. Mm. So we've got uh, old-fashioned light bulbs with new, new uh, light strips. Again, this is possibly animals in here because yeah. look, it's um, it's been sort of venting off. But I think animals would escape out of there. So maybe it was just didn't want uh, contaminants in there, perhaps. Didn't want air contamination. Uh, again, there's a there's um, a light light control system, timed, timed, and lights on both sides. So this is this has been used definitely for growing plants under controlled conditions. And you've got your uh, you've got your um, activator for your temperature here set your temperature that you want like 15 degrees 20 degrees and it'll come on and off turning on the heaters and this is what these heater bars are at the bottom you see these like where my foot is now I'll show you see these are heater bars so those are heater bars and they're connected with a wire to there so that will turn those on and off and they've got their own little fuse fuse box in here and they've got uh, temperature temperature mercury stuff there Interesting, interesting. I wonder what they were growing in here, though. I wonder. I wonder. They've even got their own little fan blower in here, which is interesting. Hmm. I'm sure I haven't got in the, any of the others, but, uh, yeah. So we've been through these, these um, box rooms. So we've been through there. We've been in here. Biohazard room. So I think that's all that's left is to kind of go downstairs now. So if we can go downstairs even. It smells bad. It smells weird and it smells bad.
So this, this has got emergency um, fire doors on an electric electric thing. So So what we got down here then? So we've got rooms. Rooms with all computer monitors. Nothing much. It does stink, doesn't it? Hmm. There's funk on the floor. There's funk. So we're in this room now with all this. We've got lights, grow room lights. Completely ground ground on the floor. This goes all the way to London. So if you look at this, you've got sub-regions. I'm going to take photos of this up close. Sub-regions. And it might tell you where some of the bunkers would have been. Because mm -hmm. I, I actually went to one of the pins on the map in um, yeah. the war rooms and there was a bunker there. Yeah, that's it. So. It doesn't smell too bad in this room. Stinky map room. Hmm. So, yeah, it's very, very manky down here. I have got a, I have actually got my mask up in the car, but just not spend too much time down here. Go on, look at some of this equipment in here. Whoa, look at that. Proper equipment room. Clamps, electrical clamps and, and electrical equipment. We got uh, we got frequency counters, oscilloscopes, all sorts of stuff down here. It's crazy. So lots of equipment in this room. Phase sensitive detectors. Wow, look at that. That is a bit of a stinky, stinky place. Give it a bit, give it a little kick. It's just stiff, isn't it? 
Maybe not. It's just seized because of the, uh, the, the damp. So yeah, look at this bloody, look at this room full of boxes and crap. Amazing. It's not too bad in these rooms, the smell isn't so bad. But in the corridor it's pretty pronounced. Goes through into another room here, so we're backing onto another another room full of shelves. Wow. This is bonkers. Sounds like they're having trouble with getting in through some of these doors. Some of them are locked. Some are locked. This is a fuel room, probably. Whoa, watch, there's a hole in the floor you could go down. You definitely go down there. That's a nasty. That is definitely a nasty. Yeah, you don't need that going down there. So that's underneath the stairs. So let's get out of this one. Is that it again? We've been in some of these? I don't think we haven't. No, this one. no, we haven't. Floor's all manked. Cool. Oh, that's the room you're looking into. Yeah, that's the back of that room. Okay. Room 25. Oh, no, that was what we were looking for. Oh, yeah, and that one. So the floors are all. Did we come down this bit? I think we did. Yeah, because that handle in the door, I opened that little thing in the door. Did you? Oh, I don't remember seeing this. Hang on. Yeah, I definitely looked in here, but didn't go in because it was too flooded. What's on the uh, What's on the table? Anything? Can't read the right. Samples. Samples, crystals, crystallized stuff, yeah. Samples. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nasty. No. But I think I think we're done downstairs now. I, I don't think there's anything missing. Oof. So I'm going to get up the stairs, start to breathe properly. It's quite thick down there. It's very thick smelling. It's nasty. Nasty, nasty. So. Side look. There's a fan back there. So you can see there's a lot of uh, dirt, dirt on these. So, fan room going into this air trap. There's a
don't seem to want to move very much. Oh yeah, look. It's the air, air ducting for downstairs and this one's you. It's interesting, isn't it? Don't see that very often. Sam, this is worth a look, don't you? Is it? Yeah. This is a filter thing. Try and operate that filter on your left hand side. It's unscrewed so it'll open up now. Where's that? On your left hand side. Floor. That's it. See that big thing? Grab the handle. See what it does? A weird, weird vent system, isn't it? Oh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay. Yeah. Let's put some more vents above us. But uh, this room is um, hasn't got many vents itself, but they're trying absolutely anything they can to get electric working in here, but I don't think it's going to happen somehow. <laughs> oh dear. What are these? Then? Locks. And then you can lock it, look, you can lock it so that um, people can't, can't operate those again. I'm down, yeah, man. Yeah. Oops, let's just put it back. Well, let's, let's have a chat outside, work out what we want to do. Just, just, what's the best? Mm. There's like an air raid shower type thing underneath there. Mm -hmm. That's accessible. That's part of it. Right. Well, it's going to look at that then. Yeah, what, 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 what? There's a lot of places. There's culverts as well. Like, I don't really want to go down and do waders and stuff like that. Yeah. There's loads of them. Yeah, yeah. That's like Cool. We're leaving now, are we? Are we? Reading Jail. I'm up for just... Reading Jail is the only one I've done in Reading. It's not. <laughs> We're not going away. Um, buildings maintenance, 8,000 something. In emergency, dial 78,000 for the University Control Centre, manned at all times. There's Should we dial 78,800? Uh, I think there's somebody in your bunker. <laughs> Go on. Spider Central. That's nice of them to let you borrow the key. <laughs> yeah, it's very good of them. I'm just going to do a quick intro and outro of that sort of stuff. Oh, OK. Yeah. It's been raining out, yeah? This is an old wall camp, I think. Yeah, it's an old... Uh... There's an old hang around there, it looks like Yep. Wow. So if I can catch... If I can catch it before it gets too dark and it starts raining, if I can catch it in between the rain, I can get a bit of uh, footage of the, the stuff. So anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see if we find somewhere else in town that's also pretty interesting. But I've got to go now because we've got to get this quick before we uh, lose the uh, lose the no rain situation. So thanks for watching, and there you go. There it is. Nobed. And the Reading War Rooms, finally taking us a long time.